Bethesda has invited us to QuakeCon 2016 to find out about one of the more unique events on the gaming calendar. So here we are in Dallas, Texas to meet the people who come here every year and make it what it is, to play some of the games and to meet the people who make the games. that makes QuakeCon such a unique event on the gaming calendar is the people who come here every year, they bring their own rigs, some of them weird and wonderful, they set them up in the BYOC room and then they play multiplayer games in one massive LAN party through into the wee small hours of the morning. We're going to meet some of the people that come here and make it such a unique event every year. The, the longer you come, the more faces you recognize, and you just have a whole lot more fun that way, especially when you like hit up the Master Pancake or the elevator or something like that. And then, um, you know, if you have like a computer like mine and people kind of stop by and they just kind of like talk a lot, you know, and they ask you stuff and then stuff like this, since you're on the edge, it kinda, it's just a lot of fun, especially when you're drunk. Okay, so my system uh, has two GTX 970s, uh, they're an SLI configuration, it has a uh, Core i5-4590 uh, processor with an RM750 power supply. I actually uh, put the second 970 in four days before the QuakeCon, and I put the LEDs that uh, have the flashing uh, modes uh, activated right now that are controlled by a remote here uh, in the day before the con. And uh, this case is the Fantex uh, Enthu Evolve ATX case. I ordered this four days before the con as well. Um, and that's when it all went together. And basically, it's just been my, my, gaming, rig, my gaming rig for a year. And uh, it's all just really come together for me. And uh, it's got 16 gigs of RAM. And I can run anything pretty much ultra, ultra 60 FPS. So I enjoy it like that. I have attended QuakeCon since 2000, so this is my 17th event. I've been on the staff since 2003, and I have been in charge of events and spirit and crazy stuff on the stage uh, since 2006. This has been my, my reign in this job. Um, I love QuakeCon. I started coming because I was a gamer, and I, it's been a while since I've actually gamed because of real life catching up with me. Uh, but this event is one of my favorite things. It's what I take vacation for every summer. Um, I haven't missed one since my first one. And uh, it's the people that keep you coming back. You, it's, you develop a family, you get to know everybody, you meet new people that walk in, um, new people that come in to do our crazy events on the stage or that come in to game in the BYOC. And um, it's just, it's great to add new faces, add new people to uh, the family every year. QuakeCon is the true grassroots video game show. This is our 21st QuakeCon. 
Um, we have lots of exciting things here this year. BYOC is packed full of people. We have an exhibit hall that has a lot of vendors and sponsors, and we have some great panels and game demonstrations. And this is one of our favorite uh, uh, conferences because mainly it's driven by the fans. People bring their own computers here. Uh, there's a strong sense of passion for the games from the players themselves, and also you can get better barbecue and tacos here than at any other conference, that's it. This is my 18th QuakeCon, and it's one of my favorite weekends of the year. It's about people who love games and uh, see each other every year. It's a bit of a family reunion. I think what makes QuakeCon such a great show is at its core, it's, it's simply a celebration of games and people who love games, and that means that people of all shapes and sizes, young and old, uh, families, uh, hardcore PC folks, young kids who play on console, uh, coming together for a weekend to celebrate uh, games and their loves of, love of games of, of all type, and uh, and really building this, this community that's been growing and growing over 21 years. The great thing about QuakeCon really is that it's a true grassroots convention. You know, it is. It was invented by the community. Uh, it is still run and managed mostly by volunteers, uh, people just like you, that come to this event, love the event, and then want to help make it even better. So I encourage anyone from anywhere in the world, uh, if you uh, if you want to come to Dallas, Texas in August any year, uh, you should make it to QuakeCon. We come back to QuakeCon every year because honestly, like these are our people. You look around, there's a lot of Corsair hardware. More importantly, there are a lot of PC enthusiasts here who put a lot of time and effort, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into the computers they build. Um, you know, the QuakeCon, the QuakeCon slogan is uh, peace, love, and rockets. That's something we're definitely about. We're all hardcore PC gamers at Corsair. So uh, it's a very rare opportunity to get this close to your fans, the people buying your products, and uh, that's why we're here every year, uh, year in and year out. So after a couple of days here at QuakeCon, it has quickly become apparent to us that this is a very unique event on the gaming calendar and it's different because it's community driven, because of the volunteers who come here every year, because of the fans who meet up, who bring their own computers and who flock to this unique event every 12 months to celebrate their favourite studios and it's one of the nicest gaming events that we've ever been to and we're looking forward to coming back next year.